thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and my guest is Sarita Gellner. And thank you again for uh, for being here. I want to ask you about with your with ritzymom.com. How did you come up with the with the title for that or the name for that? You know, when I was growing up, we actually didn't have a lot of money, but I'd always call my mom Ritzy Mom because she just exuded confidence and love and passion for everything she did. And it, she really taught us that Ritzy is a state of mind. Oh. And so that was why I named my blog Ritzy Mom. It's just you know you can be a mom, but you can still have a Ritzy outlook on life. It's mm -hmm. not, you know, about the things that you have, but the way that you look at life. We've had conversations about yes. that. <laughs> and, you know, just having what you have, be joyful for mm -hmm. it, grateful, and just be positive. And that's just the way that I am with my life is I look at it with positivity and just always remember to be a ritzy mom when you're a mom and everything's good. That's <laughs> awesome. No, that's great. And I think you get that feeling too when you're on your blog and you see it. I noticed too that you have um, on your site something about Sri Lankan cooking. Yes. And this really has to do a lot with your background, correct? Definitely. My mom has always been so into spices and the way that she cooks is completely different than anything I really can do yet, but she can just smell something and know that needs more turmeric or, mm -hmm. oh, you know, just by smell, by look, she can tell you anything about a dish. And so it's a really interesting way that we learned how to cook because she'd say, come and smell this, close your oh. eyes, breathe it in. And that's how I've really based my spice mixes off of when I was on the show. Intuition plays a lot into mm -hmm. how I bake and I cook and um, just ha to have fun with everything. Right. And that's something that you, you have enough of because it was as a, your childhood kind of comes back. You Definitely. Sort of how to do that. Well, let's talk about before we get into, I mean, we're going to kind of dedicate the, uh, the next couple segments to your time on the Great American Baking Show, and we've got some great clips of that. Before I get into that, obviously, uh, Friday is Valentine's Day. Yes. Uh, we've got some stuff. What do you, what, what do, what's your recommendation? What's so your for, pick? What do you have going on? So for Valentine's Day, I really think it's such a great day to celebrate friendship, your children, love for anybody that you have in your life. Um, I put up a lot of cakes like Hidden Heart Cake or like you can do a rolled cake that you infuse with a little bit of rose water. I love making caramels and um, actually on my Instagram page I have some port wine chocolate caramels wow. that are a lot easier to make than you'd think. It just takes some patience <laughs> That's, and They practice. sound complicated. <laughs> just throw salt on it and everything <laughs> looks better. And um, yeah, so I mean just chocolate but you can make your own and I think that's really kind of fun and part of Valentine's Day to show your love through food and be thoughtful. Just make something and you know, wrap it up and give it to somebody, and that's really shows a lot of care. And then once we get into spring, St. Patrick's Day is kind of its own unique holiday. Yeah, I don't know. I saw holiday. you something, and I think from probably last year, I think I saw some things that you did for St. Patrick's Day. But any kind of like spring cocktails that come to mind, or anything that you are lining up for uh, as a Hopefully things get warmer yeah, in springtime. Exactly. I mean, I just uh, I love making margaritas. That's mm. a really fun thing. Anything that's green, you can throw some glitter into it, some edible glitter. Oh, <laughs> edible. okay. And you can make something really sparkly, a fun cocktail, a little twist on something. Um, you know, I just uh, I haven't really come up with my St. Patrick's Day yet, but Guinness. Oh, of course, oh, for some you can always yeah. make a dessert based on a cocktail. That's my motto. You know, you can make some Bailey's brownies or anything. <laughs> just. <laughs> That's a good motto. And we're looking at that. I want to take a look, too. It's something, this is your photography. It's really good. Oh, I thank you I so much. You're, you're doing this on your iPhone? That was, actually, that was for my iPhone. Yep, those are for my iPhone. I do a lot. Of, I just have really good, I think you just find a place Great in your lighting. home that has good lighting. Mm -hmm. And that's my countertop. Wow, that's so, great. And yeah. what are, those were uh, like an espresso? They were. Shower? I did like the copycat caramel macchiato because a lot of people love to know uh -huh. how to make Starbucks drinks at home. So I do a lot of those if people ask me to. It's, and that's the thing is with my blog, I get asked, um, I actually just got asked yesterday, can you tell me a biscuit recipe that's on, you know, that's not on your blog? And I'll always do that. If you ever have anything people want to hear, they can just email me and I'll send them you know, a recipe or an idea. That's so great. I was going to say, I wonder if people are communicating with oh, you definitely. through Instagram. So they're seeing something and then yeah. asking for it. It's so great that you've got this following. It's really great. A lot of this has to do with the Great American Baking Show. So we're going to get to that when yes. we come back. Uh, for the time being, you can head to Sarita's website. It's right there, uh, ritzymom.com, or you can follow her on Instagram, ritzymomblog, and ask her questions. Ask her recipes. She's <laughs> on her phone. Yeah, ready to respond. But um, just to check out some of her great photography and recipes of food and cocktails and much more but we're going to talk about her time on the great american baking show when we come back so stay with us we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back